All right, or well, you're bringing it back. So I guess it's day six, harness time. This is the engine side of the harness. Uh, used to be the engine side of the harness. Now it's just starter side of the harness. Uh, full harness, that piece right there is the wiper. Full harness, that piece is the power for the AC stuff side. Going on full harness. And now that's the, the new, that pink wire is the new starter wire for the solenoid. And that's uh, the power that goes to the starter. Not power, but the, it, the car gets powered from the starter, from the battery that goes to that lug. Now it gets power into the, to the cab. That's the old ignition. They used to go to the Dizzy or whatever this car had. So we, leave it we cut it inside and we use it to a uh, 12 volt key on 12 volt key on uh the new pink wire is going to be your starter that's actually when you crank it gives power to the solenoid for the starter to engage it used to, it had to be, it, it was purple but if you remember if you skip to the beginning of the uh, other video the first video of that one y'all will see where uh, it had a mickey mouse this is all the stuff that i took off of the harness uh, a lot of fucking damaged wire had a lot of damage like some of the wires is still damaged over here okay that's gonna be the headlight new new not new but it had it but it was not working that's the headlight not headlight but the hood light you can see right here they elongated this wires they mickey mouse this wire they changed colors on these wires that's why i open them to make sure See how it's go it's going from green to blue back to green and it's damaged. See that? Damaged wire. They left the damaged wire instead of cutting it all the way from over here and adding the new piece. Same thing for this one. You see this one? It went from a green white stripe to a solid green to a green white stripe and all damage. It's exposed damage. All this was hidden under tape. That's why you take apart your shit. I think this was going to the pressure switch. See how it's cut? I cut it, but I think it's the pressure switch. I just got to confirm with the pressure switch. But the new pressure switch is going to be this one. I'm going to use this between the relay and the, the fucking uh, compressor. Uh, right now I'm gonna lay down the harness put it where it goes and then I'll move on to the engine harness but they have to remove it I have to move on to the fucking power steering because it's starting to leak there goes the fittings I just gotta put them on tape them and everything uh, I didn't show you guys this okay when we took it apart, apart it had a, a Mickey Mouse it had like a big old silver boat but we tried the silver bolt and it doesn't engage the thread no more. Uh, it's not the size no more of this this one. It's a, they enlarged it, but it has a big ass gap right there. See that? It's supposed to be super clamped like this. That's a exhaust leak. So they sell a little piece that goes in the back of the head and they push uh, towards this way. So once we get it, I show you guys how to do that and that's about it so right now we're gonna start the wiring because i have to do the starter side once the starter side that fucking harness is finalized that's why i leave it extra long and don't put no ends on it other than that it just finished in this one and attaching all the stuff that i took off of it from here and that's it and I just gotta do the dry shaft, the dry shaft right there. But remember the pinion seal was leaking. The pinion seal is here. I just gotta do it. I have to install it and that's it. But uh, it, so we bring it back as we go. All right, we're bringing it back. And there she goes. That is the ignition wire going inside now. Wiper, it's attached. 
Going behind the mortar. And here's the starter. So the starter is gonna get tucked behind the header and probably is gonna get cut off until like right here. All that is scrap. So it go right here. And it's gonna bolt on to the starter. So I will do that under the car, put new terminals on it, and that's it. I just gotta do the this side of the harness. And I, last but not least, it's gonna be fixing that harness that will go to the compressor. That's the one that goes to the compressor. It leads off of the, where's that? From this one. All that will go and connect to this one. But it only controls the compressor. So I have, I'm gonna delete a lot of stuff from there. I'm just gonna use the pressure switch. And that's about it. And repair some, uh, elongate it and shorten it wherever I need to. All right, we're bringing it back. I remember that oil pan. See the clearance with the new oil pan. Remember the other one was right on top of this. That's the difference. Okay, bringing it back over here. O2 sensors on, hitters on, uh, starters wiring is on, but it's, it's just, uh, for right now it's just mocked up. Transmission cooler lines are on. They're going this way and to this. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We still gotta do the wiring for the fans. Uh, new. Uh, let's see, that's how this works, and the new shit. Uh, the drive shaft. It's short. I'm gonna see if he wants to get a new drive shaft, but it's short. It's like an inch short. See, that came out of there because the engine went forward. Y'all yeah, remember? Engine went forward, so that's the old location. That's the new location. So it's an inch forward. Everything is done. I fixed the leak. New sealed. And that's it. For the bottom, I'm going to show you the top. But I didn't want to show you the top, then the bottom, because now I have to lower it and drop. But now I just have to drop it, and it stays dropped. That's it. Okay. See the key member, this one? So your exhaust goes through here, and they're gonna bring it this way here. They bring this exhaust this way here, and they will merge it to a white pipe. The other cross members is a solid pipe here that you have to go from here on speed engineering down and out this right here, this piece. Same shit for this. It just goes, and then it just goes down and around and you'll be having clearance issues on the floor if you have a drop at third dirgen they will rub on the floor your fucking exhaust so that's the the problem with other uh cross members that's why i like using this one because they're your exhaust and let's say if he goes with a t56 all i have to do is change this piece if he goes with a 480 you change this piece a 6080 you change this piece you don't have to change the whole cross member you just change this center piece and it's like 30 bucks 30 to 40 bucks for each different transmission you're gonna use other than that that's it all the wiring on top is done we're gonna move on to showing you that we just show you the bottom and that's it we just waited on the harness but i haven't even taken it so i'll take probably hit him up see if he takes it monday and see how fast can you bring it back to us. All right. See the worm going towards the starter. Okay. All the headlight is reloomed. Reran. Reloom. There it goes right there. And there, and boom. They end up here. This is for the for the brake when you run out of fluid or it's low on fluid 
This is uh, what turns the brake light on your dash. And that's it. Oh, we're just going to do the power steering lines right now. And start on the AC stuff. And that should be, should be it for today. So that's going to be the end of this video. So I can continue working without stopping. And we're losing light. And remember, next week I'll leave the SEMA. So this one's supposed to be 95% completed. You can say it's there. It just needs to harness in Dakota. And that's it. So let me finish. So I'll catch you on the next video.